Uh, let's do Crazy Town because this one is just really, I mean, have you guys, did you guys see his speech? Have you seen this I saw speech? a little bit of it. I saw I a mean, couple things. It is unbelievable how out to lunch. I mean, really legitimately, scarily out to lunch this guy is. He says things, uh, 30 seconds later, he says the same thing. 30 seconds later, says the same thing, refers back to stories he just told. I mean, this is so all over the place. It's just embarrassing is what it is. Crazy town, Aaron. Roll it. It is evening, isn't it? This round the world in five days is interesting, isn't it? Well, uh, you know, there's that one of my staff members said, remember the famous song, you know, Good morning, Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. Song. Our thoughts and prayers with the people of Morocco and oh, my I'm friend Williams. King Mohammed the Seventh, the Sixth, I should say, and his administ- my administration, including. And now I will take your questions. Let me see. They told me they gave me five people here. I I, I don't want to contain China. We have an opportunity to strengthen alliances around the world to maintain stability. It's not about containing China. It's about having a stable base. And so, uh, and I hope that, uh, I think that uh, Prime Minister Xi, I mean, she has some, uh, uh, oh my I, God. I want to see China succeed economically. But as I said, I'm not, we're not looking to hurt China, uh, sincerely. We're all better off if China does well. We're not looking to decouple from China by sending. We're gonna from. We're gonna have a new railroad from India all the way across to the Mediterranean, shipping lanes and pipelines across the Mediterranean to Europe, up into uh, up into Great Britain and beyond. <laughs> you know, one of the things we're doing in terms of. Uh, I, I proposed a long time ago at the G7, now it's, it's going to come to fruition in the G20, is making sure that we build a railroad all the way railroad. across the African continent. Railroad. Assume there was one country in, in that vast continent that had a, 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 a excess of, of uh, foodstuffs and resources. That's why we're also going to invest billions of dollars in oh solar uh, facilities in Angola have the largest, largest solar facility in the world, or bottom the largest. Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Um, I think people are leaving. <laughs> am I pronounce it? Avilia? Did I pronounce that correctly? And so we're talking to what we should be go and the countries that cleared their land and put it. cattle on it and farming and and did all the things that do increased development. They, in fact, are the ones, the reasons why, the main reason why we've gotten as far down the road to disaster here as we have. No, you're a disaster right there. Angola has the capacity to generate megawatts of energy okay. through <laughs> solar <laughs> energy. And the only existential threat humanity faces, even more frightening than, a, than a nuclear war, is global warming going above 1.5 degrees in the next oh. 20, 10 years. 20 or 10 years. For example, that, that uh, um, uh, pipeline, uh, that uh, railroad we're talking about going across from, the, from <laughs> India throughout the Middle East and the, across the Mediterranean and all through Europe, that's going to have a hydrogen pipeline there. I have not given up at all on the notion that we're going to be able to, uh, you know, uh, how can I say it? Uh, <laughs> you can't. We, we, have the mo- we, have the most, uh, we have the strongest economy in the world today. Right now, today, the United States of America has the strongest economy in the world. Uh, what world? In the world. <laughs> and there's a, my, my brother loves having, there's famous lines from movies that he always quotes. Uh-huh. You know, and one, one, one of them is there's, there's a movie about John Wayne, he's an Indian scout, and they're trying to get the, I think it was the Apache, one of the great tribes of America, oh, God, back on the reservation. And he's standing with the Union, so he's, they're all on, they're, and they're on their horses and their saddles, and there's 
three or four Indians in headdresses and the Union soldiers. The Union soldiers basically saying, the Indians, come with me, we'll take care of you, we'll be everything will be good. And the Indian scout, the Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union soldier and says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming. For, and uh, let's see. I'm just following my orders here. Oh my oh. goodness, there it is. Aha. Let's see what Barack went uh, down for me. Mm. Following orders. Staff, is there anybody having spoken to? Uh, no, I ain't calling on you. I'm calling on I said that I have five questions. Nobody oh likes goodness. having celebrated international meetings if you don't know what you want at the meeting. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Please, stay there. <laughs> it wasn't confrontational at all. Thank, thank you, everybody. This ends thank the count press thank conference. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, they're wrapping up. Hey, they're Where's the hook? Where's the big hook to just come grab him and pull him off? Oh, my oh, Lord. Man. Oh, my God. That was, I mean, you, oh, can't, my you Lord. can't even, you got to be kidding me. Somebody. Somebody pull the plug. <laughs> Somebody plug him back in. <laughs> The only time he was able to cobble together a coherent thought was lion dog face pony soldier. What was Those the, are the only words he could cobble together into a sentence. Wasn't it the gong show the guy came out with a bag <laughs> over his head? Yeah, that was the unknown I mean, comic. Oh, my God. Even we, the unknown comic had more to say that was, that was coherent. The unknown president. Yeah. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That was classic stuff.